welcome back. Today I want to share with you our March meal plan. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I have a family of five. We have three kids and two adults and I monthly meal plan. So at the end of every month, I go ahead and plan out a whole month's worth of meals. Um, it just helps me tremendously to be able to sit down once a month and plan out for the entire month rather than multiple times a month or once a week or whatever it may be. This just works out a lot better for our family. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what we are having for the month of March. I am still in my plum paper planner, which I'm loving. And within that planner, I have the meal planning section and that's what I use to meal plan. Okay, so the way that this meal planner is set up is by week. So each month has four weeks and the first week actually started February 26th of this month. So what I had planned for and every month what I do is I plan out a month's worth of meals and then it's sort of like a rough draft. So those are the meals that I would like to have within the week and then I go ahead when I'm getting ready to plan out my week and I sort of move meals around if need be based on what our schedule is like and what we have going on. Um, so basically this is a rough draft of our monthly meals. I usually stick pretty close to this um, and usually the meals are all within the week somewhere. We might change, you know, Monday's meal to Thursday and Thursday's meal to Monday, so on and so forth. But pretty much all the meals stay pretty much the same. So for the first week, it actually started in February. February 26th, we had chicken and rice. You'll notice some of the meals are written in orange and that's because those indicate crock pot meals. I love crock pot meals and I wanna make sure that I am planning quite a few of them because we're really busy right now. I have two boys in soccer, one in Cub Scouts. We just have a lot going on after school and our evenings are pretty, pretty packed with activities. So um, crock pot meals really help us a lot. Being able to serve homemade meals and um, you know, it basically does the work for you. So orange indicates crock pot meals, blue indicates just regular meals that I don't need any special prep. And then pink or red indicates special meals that I need to plan in more detail. Okay, so now <laughs> February 26th is chicken and rice. February 27th, we had steak and lentils. We actually substituted the lentils for potatoes. Um, it was just easier. And then February 28th was spaghetti dinner. March 1st was chicken, green beans, and potatoes. March 2nd was lemon, broccoli, pasta. Friday the 3rd, takeout. Saturday the 4th, tacos with Spanish rice. And like I said, that was a rough draft. This week, for instance, changed quite a bit just because our schedule changed a lot this week and we had a lot going on. So um, we did move meals around quite a bit this week, but still kept within the same meal plan for the most part. Okay, second week is March 5th which we have Sunday dinner. Typically on Sundays, we get together with my parents and we have Sunday dinner. Uh, March 6th, we are doing pasta fajol soup. March 7th, buffalo chicken wraps. March 8th, chili. March 9th, chili dogs. March 10th, takeout. And March 11th, homemade pizza. You'll also notice that we usually have one takeout night a week. That just gives us a break from cooking and having to think about what's for dinner. So um, that's usually on Fridays, but again, we move it around just based on what's going on. For the third week, we have March 12th, which is a Sunday, again, Sunday dinner. Monday, March 13th, chicken fajitas. Tuesday, March 14th, steak dinner. Wednesday, March 15th, ham and lentil soup. Thursday, March 16th is my daughter's birthday. So again, that's written in pink because I want to plan that out in more detail. And Friday, March 17th, corned beef dinner because it is St. Patrick's Day. So we always do corned beef dinner on St. Patrick's Day. And Saturday, March 18th is chicken lime tacos. For the fourth week, we have Sunday, March 19th is Sunday dinner. Monday, 
March 20th is scallop potatoes and ham. That's a new recipe that I want to try this month, so I put a little star next to that. March 21st is pasta fajol. Wednesday, March 22nd is stuffed shells. Thursday, March 23rd, tacos. Friday, March 24th is takeout. And Saturday, March 25th is shrimp pasta. So that is our month's worth of meals. And then, um, like I said, we go into our weeks once I plan out my week and, and know what's going on. Um, I might switch these meals around a little bit, but for the most part, we stick to what I've planned out at the beginning of the month. Okay, over on the left-hand side here, there are four lists, and I believe this was intended to use for groceries and ingredient lists. However, I like to use it for different purposes. For this first list over here on the left, I list our new recipes that we wanna try for the month. So every month I try to incorporate one to three new recipes and I like to jot them down here so that way I know I need to either print out the recipe or look up the recipe. Um, and yeah, just kind of, it's a good reminder. These are the recipes that we wanna try for the month. So the first one is lemon broccoli pasta. Now I had this on my list to try for February and we never ended up getting around to it. So I'm going to carry that over to March and try that recipe in March. I also looked up the scalloped potatoes and ham recipe, which sounded really good. So um, I added that to our list. I usually find my ideas from Pinterest or um, food.com, um, recipes.com, I believe. All of those, you know, just recipe um, websites. So this one I believe was found on Pinterest. So those are the two new recipes that uh, we want to try for the month of March. This list over here is our lunch and snack ideas. So I sometimes struggle just coming up with new ideas for snack and lunches, or sometimes I just forget to um, buy the ingredients at the store because it's not in the front of my brain. So writing it down helps. So for lunch and snack ideas, mostly snack ideas, I have sliced carrots with hummus. My kids love hummus and it's something I always forget to pick up. So I wanted to make sure to write that down. Chex Mix, we have not had Chex Mix in a long time, so I think I might pick up some of that. Fruit salad, um, we like to you know, make a nice fresh fruit salad and that usually lasts us a few days. And then yogurt bites. So what I do is I take their favorite kind of yogurt and some um, parchment paper and I just make yogurt, frozen yogurt bites out of that. And it's just kind of a fun little treat for them to have after school and they enjoy it. So those are some ideas that I wanted to remember to pick up at the store for the month of March. This list over here is my make once, eat twice. Um, and what I do is a lot of recipes, I will double up the batch and we will eat half of it that night and then half of it will go in the freezer for a different night. So I like to write down the recipes that I wanna make a double batch of so that way I know to double the batch when I'm making it and buy enough of the ingredients to double the batch. So for this month, the only recipe that I'm doubling is pasta fajol soup. So again, once pasta fajol night comes, I know I need to double the batch. And then over here is a list of meat that I need to buy for the month of March because, or for every month, um, because I like to stock up on it when it goes on sale. So I will write down how much meat I need to uh, make the recipes in the month. And then when they go on sale, I stock up. So I save money that way. So we need two pounds of steak this month. I need one package of Italian sausages, three pounds of chicken, three pounds of hamburger, two ham steaks, one package of shrimp, and one pack package of hot dogs. And that should get us through the month for all these recipes. So that is how I meal plan every single month. And it saves us so much time and money and it's just so much easier for me to sit down once a month and plan out a whole month's worth of meals. I love being able to see it all at a quick glance like this so I know I'm not repeating meals too often. And yeah, that is the month of March and are the meals that we will be having within the month. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and thanks so much for watching.